champion black bears welcome to your first day of art today we are going to go over some rules and procedures i know it can be boring but i'm gonna try to make it fun because rules and procedures are very very important and there's some new rules and procedures we really need to talk about for this year it is very important to me and our school that you stay safe. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. So you might notice that I am wearing a face mask and a face shield. When you come to art, unless you have a specific medical exception, you will need to wear one of these or one of these. This protective equipment keeps us from spreading our germs to other people. You know that the virus is very contagious, so it's very important we keep our germs all to ourselves. When your teacher drops you off for art class, if you don't have one of these or one of these, I have some that I can give to you, okay? Now, since I'm here in my classroom all alone, I'm going to take these off right now so you can hear me better. There we go. When you arrive for art class, the first thing you are going to do is get some hand sanitizer. Maybe I will hold it out and put it in your hand. Maybe it'll be outside on the picnic table or another little table for us, okay? It doesn't matter how you get it, but that is the first step for coming to art class. Hand sanitizer. Remember how I gave you a number today? Well, that is going to stay your number. On your way to your seat, you can rub that hand sanitizer in and sit down. Now, with your supplies, it's going to have your name on the front, right? These are for you. Normally, I love sharing. Right now, this year, until we can say otherwise, sharing materials is not okay. If your neighbor at the table does it have a blue crayon? They need to raise their hand and ask me. I know it's super kind for you to take it and say, hey, here you go. Mm -mm -mm. Not this year, boys and girls. This is very serious. It's not safe. Nobody but you should touch your supplies or your sketchbook. Okay? Remember, rules help us make good choices so that we can stay safe and have fun. Rule number one, we're going to follow directions the first time. Rule number two, keep your hands, feet, and mean words to yourself. You don't need to share those with anybody. Rule number three, we're gonna take care of our materials, use them correctly, clean them, put them away. Rule number four, really important right now. We are going to move with adult permission. You need to ask me before you go anywhere. Bottom line, it's not safe for us to walk around and go like all kinds of directions okay i'll show you that later but there's a certain direction that you need to walk you need to follow the arrows okay now i'd like to hear from you so let's pause and talk about these art class rules and you could give me some examples of what these mean after we get our sanitizer and we are in our assigned seats you are going to get your supplies and your sketchbook or your folder 
Your supplies are going to look something like this. Everybody has the same stuff in their bag. And we'll put your name on it right here. So we definitely know it's yours. Now I'm gonna tell you the truth, y'all. Some of you have thick markers. Some of you have skinny markers. It's all markers, so it's going to work no matter what. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Of course, if something breaks or your marker dries out because you didn't put the lid on it. Put the lid on it. I will definitely have extras gladly give you a new one, okay? I hope very much that I will be able to do painting and clay and glitter and all that fun stuff with you guys. But right now, we're going to keep it safe and simple, okay? We can still do lots of fun things with dry materials just like this. If you're at home, your art kit can be whatever you have. Crayons, colored pencils, markers, oil pastels, um, if you have paint at home, or if you know how to make your own paint out of dried up markers, whatever you have at home is fine. Not a big deal. There's no wrong way to make art. That's my favorite thing about art. There's not a wrong way to do it as long as you're using materials correctly and you're being kind and respectful to each other. All right, let's talk about voice level. Level zero means our voices are off. We're listening to the speaker. Voice level one is a whisper. That means the only person that should hear you is the person that's at your table. Voice level two is an inside voice. It's the voice that I'm using right now. People around you can hear you, but your voice isn't going through the walls. If you are doing Volusia Live, then something that's just for you is your microphone, okay? If your microphone is on at home, then, and you're listening to me teach, you're gonna get this screechy, weird ah, echo, okay? It's not fun to listen to, it hurts everybody's ears. So, you are going to have your mic unmuted. That means whatever noise is coming out of your camera, we're not gonna hear, okay? If you have a question, I'll be looking at the screen, all right? And then I will say, okay, uh, you know, Steven, <laughs> Steven, please unmute your mic. And then you can ask. And if someone's in the background, you know, cooking or your dog's barking, like it's really distracting. And remember, we need to stay on task. We don't want to waste our art time. Now we're going to talk about consequences. If you make a positive choice, a good choice, you will have a positive consequence. Do something good and something good will happen. New in the art room this year, we are going to have a team point challenge. Yay! We're going to work together as a one big class team. Your team, your class, can get up to five points every day. You can get points for Starting class quietly. That's a voice level zero or a one. Your next point is for active listening ears. Okay? That means you're not messing with your supplies, you're not looking over at your friend, you're not making silly faces, okay? You're actively listening so that you know what to do. You're gonna get a point for using materials correctly that means not breaking stuff, keeping things clean, and also, remember, right now, no sharing. Your fourth point is for giving your best effort. That just means you try. If you don't know something, ask for help. Art takes practice. 
Sometimes you have to do the same thing over and over until you get it right. Your last point is going to be for cleaning up and ending class quietly. Walk the correct way, keep our space, and walk back to the courtyard quietly. Because I have to do it real fast to be here for my next class. So, at the end of the nine weeks, your class has the most points. Hmm. Well, what does that mean? If your class wins for the nine weeks, you could do things like have a modeling clay day and make something out of air dry clay. We could come up with a special project. Maybe there's something that you get to do that no one else gets to do. I could bring in your favorite snacks. We could make a project for a holiday that's coming up. You could make your own jewelry or some keychains. We could chill and watch a movie and have some popcorn. Or we could have a Kahoot tournament with prizes for the winner. Now, if you are on Volusia Live, don't worry. I don't know how, but I will find a way to include you in the prize too. Because you following the rules helps the class get those points and so you deserve a prize just like everybody, right? You're in the class too. Now we are going to talk about negative consequences. Sometimes we make a bad decision, a poor choice. And because of that, we get a negative consequence. Something that's going to make us stop and think about what we've done. Because our choices affect other people. And no one has the right to stop you from learning. Think of the negative consequences like a stoplight. Strike one, you are in the green light. I will give you a warning. I might say something like, you have a warning for breaking rule number three. Let's fix it. And we move on, it's done and over with. Strike two, you are now in the yellow light. It is time for you to pause and think about what you have been doing that is giving you this next consequence. I'm going to ask you to stop doing art, maybe do a think sheet or write an apology for someone to sit somewhere else in the room so that you can't disturb the rest of the class. And when you're done, I'll collect it from you and you will come back to the activity and keep going from where we left off. Strike three. You are in the red light, just like at street lights and stop signs. You have hit red and that means stop. You are done doing art for today. You will not be continuing with your art project. Every time you come to your class, it's a new chance and a fresh start. Everyone deserves that, don't you think? However, if you continue to reach the red light every time you have art. This is something that we need to stop and talk about. So I will be calling home and setting up a phone call or a conference with your grown-ups and one of our principals or maybe our counselor or our behavior specialist. Remember, rules keep us safe and no one has the right to take art time away from other classmates. We need to think about our choices so that everyone can enjoy their art time and be safe and happy here at school. Let's talk about my expectations. That means everything else I've talked about today is done, it's being taken care of, we're getting all our team points, we're doing great. I have expectations for myself too because I wanna be the best art teacher that I can be. I am going to give you my best effort every day. I'm gonna start class on time, your supplies will be ready for you, the students in the class before you, cleaned up and so the room is safe for you. I'm giving you my very best effort. 
I am also going to create fun lessons for you that we can do with our time together. I'm going to be kind and respectful. And if I do something wrong, I'm going to apologize. Most important, I am going to help you learn safely. These procedures are pretty new for all of us. We need to work together to be safe and successful here at school. I can't wait to see all the amazing artwork you make this year. Remember, it's not about being the best. It's about being your best. It doesn't have to look like my art. It doesn't have to look like your best friend's art or your mama's art or your llama mama's art, okay? As long as you give me your very best, you try really hard to follow all the directions, I promise we're gonna have a great year. Let's finish it up today with our artist motto. Are you ready? I make messes. I make mistakes. But deep inside, I've got what it takes. I use my head and I use my heart to create 